नमस्ते स्टूडेंट हियर वी आर विद टू इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी कन्फ्यूजिंग प्रॉब्लम विच इज रिलेटेड टू योर रेक्टेंगुलर स्ट्रिप कन्वर्ट इन टू सिलेंडर इफ यू लुक एट द फर्स्ट वन योर रेक्टेंगुलर स्ट्रिप दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड सेवन सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स इफ यू टेक दिस पीस ऑफ पेपर हियर वी हैव रेक्टेंगुलर स्ट्रिप विद अस टेक दिस वन एज ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड टेक दिस वन एज सेवन सेंटीमीटर Now what they are asking here? For first one, they are asking here rotate about the longer side. That means you take the longer side. Longer side will be twenty five centimeter. You take it like that, and take this one as axis. Longer side should be axis, and rotate like this way. This direction, like this. The rotation gives you solid cylinder. Okay. Next one, rectangular sheet of paper. Here we have. Take this one as forty-four, and this is twenty. Now they are asking here, rolled along its length. Roll. This is your length. Along the length, you need to roll it. If you roll, you can see this one. You will get hollow cylinder. I hope it is clear. If The first one, if you go, if you rotate, this whole part, this whole part will become. This one is smaller, would become a radius. And if you go like this, and if you rotate it like this, if you rotate it like this, you can see that this strip will cover the whole part, and it will it will give you the solid cylinder. Here, student get confused. See, in both case, we are getting the total surface area, but if we go for the second one. You need to find here curved surface area. Why? Because sir, in the hollow cylinder we don't have radius because it's totally hollow. And for this one we need to find total surface area. So both have the same question. Students are thinking that both are the same, but here they do the mistake. Let's see. Let's proceed the first one. Here we'll do. So here we take this one strip that is twenty five. So, so okay, okay, twenty-five centimeter and yes, seven centimeter. Now you take it like this. You take this one and rotate it. If you rotate it like this, what you will get? Okay, uh, we'll take this one. This will be your what axis. So you need to take this way and rotate like this. Have you seen? Here, if you rotate like this, you can see that. This is solid cylinder you will get. Where your twenty five will become height, and this seven become your radius. Now it's become very easy. What we have from this figure, we have the height. Height will become your h. We'll write here height that is h twenty five centimeter, and radius of cylinder that is r. Seven centimeter. We need to find total surface area. Total surface area of resulting solid. Here, the resulting solid cylinder. Total surface area of required solid. You can write here. No problem. Required solid. We'll get here. The formula would be two pi r h plus two pi r square, and this can be converted as a two pi r h plus r here. So two into twenty two by seven into seven. Your twenty five plus seven. This will give you forty four into thirty two, and the result is one four zero eight centimeter square. This will be your. Answer and the for second one, if we go for the second one, same type of strip we'll go into, but the dimension are different. First one is forty four, and here we have breadth that is twenty. Now you need to roll here. Here we'll write here, rotate. Right here, rotate about about the about the longer side, longer side. Remember, and here we are going to roll. Along its length, and we'll get here 
सेम सिलेंडर दिस इज योर सॉलिड एंड दिस विल बी योर व्हाट होलो सिलेंडर रिमेंबर विल गेट हियर सॉलिड सिलेंडर एंड हियर विल गेट होलो सिलेंडर सो दिस दिस विल बी योर लेंथ विल बिकम द सरकम फ्रेंड्स फॉर दिस वन हियर वी हैव सो सरकम फ्रेंड्स of cylinder become what length of the rectangle strip or sheet of paper we can say that now that is, is 2 pi r will give you 44 cm now keep this one in this form only why sir because we need to find here here what total surface area of this one and total surface area would become here total surface area of required solid would be what that is 2 pi r h and 2 pi r means 44 and the h is here your height you write here height of this one h will be your 20 cm this breadth this breadth become a height of this one it will remain same as 20 cm so here you will take this one as 20 and we will get 880 cm square i hope it is totally clear to all of you thank you Thank you for watching the video.